Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Previously we talked about factoring, factoring trinomials. Now, for example, if I gave you x squared plus 5x plus 6, from this we were able to factor out the following. We said that this had to be x because that gave us the first term. That's the first term. And then we said, well, we're going to have to figure out what goes over there. And those are going to be factors of one uh, of six, so one and six, and two and three. And now you're getting pretty good at this, so it's, you put two and three, and then you realize that you have to look at the signs, right? And this says the signs are going to be the same, and this one says the signs are going to be positive, like this. So we managed to do this uh, pretty uh, reasonably easily, okay? So this trinomial. And this is no ordinary trinomial, this is a quadratic. And this quadratic factors into x plus 2 and x plus 3. Okay, fair enough. Now, imagine this for a second. So I have 2x plus 3 and x plus uh, 2. Now, this is a, uh, uh, a binomial times a binomial. That's fair enough. Let's for a moment uh, factor this out. Okay, let's, let's uh, so, sorry, FOIL this out. So if we were to FOIL this, we do first, okay, so that would be this times this. Okay, that would be first would be 2x squared. And then we do the uh, outer. Okay, that would be um, 2 times, that's 2x, that's 4x and that would be inner, and that would be 3x, and then finally you would do the last terms like this, okay, so the last term, 3 times 2 is 6, and then you would simplify this, you get 2x squared plus 7x uh, plus 6. Now, on the other hand, let's say if I had given you the following, I said 2x squared plus 7x plus 6, which is what, it, that's what we have over here, and then ask you to factor this. Okay, in other words, go from there and cut it backwards like this. Okay, so factor this one. Now this is going to be a little trickier because when we were doing this type of factoring, the first term were x and x, okay? And uh, then that's uh, that was easy. And whenever this first term has a 1, okay, that's called, uh, uh, that those are easy ones, but whenever you have something like this 2 over here, those, these type of factoring are going to be a little bit tricky, okay? Now, so that's what we're going to learn today, inshallah. So the first thing we have to understand is that we're going to write the generic version of a quadratic expression. It's a generic version of a quadratic expression. A quadratic uh, expression, if you recall, is one that has is a second degree polynomial function. That's a quadratic. A second degree polynomial is called a quadratic. Okay, so the generic one is written as ax squared plus bx plus c. So it has going to have three terms, okay? Just like this ax plus by equals c. That was a generic version of a, you know, in the standard form of a line. This is a generic quadratic expression where a, b, and c are some uh, some numbers, constant uh, terms, okay? Let's uh, constant, some numbers, let's just say. I'm going to give you some examples. So x squared plus 5x plus 6, the one we just did. In this case, see, a is 1 b is 5, this, and c is 6, okay? Just to make sure you understand, I have x squared minus 13x uh, minus 14. In this case, a is 1, b is negative 13, and c is negative 14, okay? Now, on the other hand, if I gave you something like this, okay, um, minus 5x squared, plus 3x minus 7. In this case, a is negative 5, b is 3, and c is negative 7. Okay? So that's this is a generic version of a quadratic expression. Now, if I were to add this, this would become a quadratic 
function. Okay, that's, that's what we're going to study uh, in the next chapter, inshallah. So here we're talking about quadratic expressions. So hitherto, previously, we factored expressions where a was 1, like these, and they tend to be easier. Today we're going to learn to factor expressions that have a that's not uh, 1, a is uh, some number other than, uh, other, than, other than 1. Here I said greater than one. I meant it's like absolute value will be greater than one. Okay, so we're going to learn to factor uh, uh, quadratic expressions where a is uh, not a one. Okay, so let's take the example that we started out with, and I have already given this to you, and I suggested that uh, this will factor out into this. Okay, all right, follow. Now that's what we're going to. Now, how, there's a method to this, just like there was a, a method of doing this. So, the first step is easy. So, and that first step is okay, writing these down. Now, if if it was like x squared over here, so what two things give you um, x squared? Okay. So, if you remember the foil, the first term is derived from multiplying these two things. Okay. Now here we have to figure out what I'm going to put over here so that they multiply to give 2x squared. Well, it's going to be x and x. And as answer is easy here, right? But so we're cheating in the first place, so it makes it easy for us. So the first, what two stuff that I have to put over here is that they multiply to give you that. Before, it was nothing here except for a 1, so it was easy. Now we say, well, it's going to be, one has to be a 2x, the other one has to be an x. Fair enough. That was not too bad, okay? And then we go back to our old thing. Okay, one would have to put something over here. And whatever goes over here, they're going to have to multiply to give a 6, right? So that's the last term, correct? So the last term is derived from these two. Okay, so then we have to go back and do the same thing again. Okay, what are the factors of 6? There's 1 and 6, and then there's 2 and 3. Now, I know it's going to be 3 and 2, right? So, okay. So, but let's just pick the wrong one now. So you pick the wrong one here. Okay, so you put a 1 and 6 over here. And then you give it a try. And then you do the outers and inners. So if you do this, you get 1x. And then here you get uh, 6 times 2 is 12x. Then I have to ask myself, do these add or subtract to give 7x? See? If, they, if you add them, you get 13. If you subtract them, you get 11. So this doesn't work, right? Well, then you can say, well, you know what? This is not going to work. Oh, not so fast. Not so fast, okay? You can't, you can't uh, quit uh, that, that easily. The reason is because, watch, you put the 6 over here and 1 over here, right? What you do is before you quit on that pair, you put the 6 here and 1 over here first, okay? Now you put the 6 over here and 1 over here. Switch them around and see what happens. Well, if you switch them around, it's still going to be wrong, but we'll give it a try. So this is 6x, and that's going to be 2x. Now, these have to add and subtract to give you the middle term, because those are the like terms you're going to combine. How do you do 6x and 2x add or subtract to give 7x? No, not on this planet, right? So that's not going to work. So once you've tried this and, uh, and this, then you can quit on it. Okay, 1 and 6 and 6 and 1. So, okay, so th that clearly is not going to work. So now we can give up on this because we tried them both ways. We tried them 1 and 6 and 6 and 1, and neither of them work. Okay, so let's pick something else. So that's gone. So now we say 2 and 3. Okay, fine, let's do 2 and 3. So let's put 2 and 3. Now you notice, even though it's the right pair, it's in the wrong, the wrong order, right? So that's why it's important to check the order. So let's we'll just see what happens if you do this, okay? The always. The outers is 6x, that's this, and the inner is 2x. Now, do these add or subtract to give 7x? No, not on our plan. So that's not going to work. But before you give up on this, if you recall, then you change the order. How about 3 and 2? Now let's see what happens, okay? So that's 3x and that is 4x. Aha! Uh -huh. Do these add or subtract? Of course, they add and subtract, right? So if you add these, this gives you 7x, and so we hit the jackpot here, so to speak, okay? So this will work. And now, once you've done that, then you focus on the signs, just like before. 
okay? So you focus on the signs. The signs, okay, this one says they're positive. They're, uh, this one says they're both the same. And this one says they're both positive. So it's going to be like this and this, okay? So now we have arrived at our right answer, which was over here. Okay, so the process for this, this these type of questions when A is not just a simple one, and I shouldn't say it's greater than 1, should I say absolute value of A is greater than 1, it could be like negative number 2, okay? So when A is just not a simple one, uh, then what you do is first, whatever, whatever you put over here, you have to consider over here the factors of this number as well, okay? And then after that, you, the process is the same, you go to the second term. Okay, so this will become, inshallah, more apparent as we do some examples. Okay, so let's let's do this one. So this is a quadratic expression because it is a second degree polynomial function. So let's try to factor this quadratic expression. So um, here we go. There you go. That was the hard part. Okay, so um, now... You start with the first term. Then you have to say, okay, what two things multiply to give 3x squared? Well, hmm, well, let's see. It's going to be, one of them has to be 3x, the other one is going to be x. So it's not that hard, okay? Okay, then, then you do it the old-fashioned way. Then you go, okay, well, 5. What are the factors of 5? There's 1 and 5, and that's it, right? Oh, let's see, well, okay, so let's try 1 and 5. Then you do the smiley faces. So this is 1x and this is 6x. Do 1x, oh sorry, 15. 5 times 3 is 15. Do 1x and 15x. Do they add or subtract to give 2x? Not by a long shot, right? So, okay, that's not going to work. So, okay, well, then you give up, right? Oh, not so fast. Then what you do is you flip them around. You put 5 over here and you put uh, 1 over here. Now let's see what happens. Okay, the ois, the outer is 3x and the inner is 5x. Do these add or subtract to give 2x? You bet they do, right? So, okay, now we look at the signs, right? So this is negative, okay? So this says that they are different. The signs are different. And then you look at this sign and the bigger product is negative. Which one of this is bigger product? And it's this one, so this is going to be negative, and this is going to be positive. How do you get this one to be negative? Well, you put a negative over here. That's how you get it to be negative, and you put a positive over here. Okay, so now, if you were to FOIL this, you would get this, all right, if you don't want to double-check your work. Okay, first, outer, inner, last, okay? So when you, when you factor this out, uh, the resultant answer is, let's just write it neatly, 3x minus 5 and x plus 1 and ta-da that you have it okay let's do a couple more examples inshallah okay let's try this one uh, pay attention now no daydreaming that means you I'm just kidding all right watch so uh, same thing now we have to look at this and say okay, what goes over here and what goes over here okay that's easy enough, I think. I think it's going to be 2x and x. And then, and then you look at the last one here, right? So you have, okay, 1 and 9. Okay, 3 and 3. And that's it, right? Okay, well, let's, let's try. I'm going to try 1 and 9. Okay. And then I'm going to do the always and say this is 1x, 9 times 2 is 18. Uh, do they add or subtract d to give a 3x and not by a long shot? Good luck on that one. So no, so we don't. And so, but then we don't quit quit there, right? Because you have to try in both ways. So we tried 1 and 9. Let's try 9 and 1. So if you do this, then you get 9x and 2x. Do they add or subtract to give 3? Close, but not quite, right? So okay, that's not going to work. So now we can give up on that one, okay? See? So we tried it both ways. We tried... 1 and one and 9, and then we tried 9 and 1, and since neither of them worked, so we can give up on it. Okay, now, let's try, then it has to be 3 and 3, right? So let's try 3 and 3. Okay, let's, let's do this. So that's 3x, and this is going to be 6x. 
Add or subtract to give three? You bet they do. Okay, so now this says there are different, right? And then this says the bigger product is positive. Which one is the bigger product? First, this is. So this is positive and this is going to be negative. So, um, positive and negative. So, how do I make this a positive? I make plus over there and I make a minus over there. And there we have it. Okay, so that's how you factor uh, something like this. All right. Okay, now look at this one. The plot thickens. Okay, now look at this one. And you look at this and says, okay, forget it. I'm just going to wait till somebody else does and gives me the answer, right? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Okay, now, so you look at this and say, hmm, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, so, but you see, the first thing you do before you start doing anything, before you start doing anything, for example, if I had given you this, 5x squared plus uh, 10x plus 5, something should stand out on this, right? And the, what should stand out is that you can factor out a 5 from all of these, right? Okay, let me make it stand out even more. Okay, 5x squared plus 5x plus 5. If I'd given you that, duh, there's a 5 in every single one of the terms, right? So you can factor out a 5, right? Yes or no? Yes, so before you do anything, you try to see if you can make your life a little easier by factoring something out, some number out from all of these, so it becomes uh, easier to work with. Would you rather factor smaller numbers or big numbers? I don't know. I like to factor smaller numbers, right? Okay, so uh, what goes into uh, all of them? Well, I, can, I think I can take out a 3 from all of them. Okay, let's see if I take out a 3 from all of them. I can take out a 3 from here. Okay, and I'm going write, to write brackets like that, okay? So then we have 3x squared plus, that goes 22x plus, uh, what is this? 7, right? So 7, okay? So now, doesn't that look much more civilized to you? I don't know about that, but look, would you rather factor this or would you rather factor this? Okay, yes, I've, I don't know, I'd rather factor this. So now what you do is you keep the three outside like this, okay? And I put these brackets here to separate them from the other bracket that we're going to put, okay? So then, then I'm going to do this, okay, like that. And then this, this three is being multiplied at this whole thing, okay? So you can put these other big brackets if you want to make you feel better, but you don't have to because it's all multiplication. So it's community property of multiplication, though, so it's cool. So we're going to factor this now, okay? And all you have to do is now focus on this one. Okay, so in this case then, the first term is going to be over here. That's going to be 3x and x, right? And then we got nice prime number over here, so it's going to be only one possible factor combination. It's going to be 1 and 7, okay? Um, and, okay, let's try 1 and seven like this Ooh, now we do the always okay let's do this this is one x three times uh three times seven is 21 x okay do these add or subtract to give you 22 you bet they do okay and now then we look at the signs over here and the both are positive that they're both the same sorry both are the same and this one says they're both positive so they're going to be like this okay now we have factored this out okay now, when you factor this thing then, okay, the end result is this. In fact, this is how you want it to be. You want the end result to be like, completely factored, as much factored out as possible, okay? And like this, okay? Now, if somebody had not taken this three out, they could still factor this out, but their life is going to be much more difficult because now they're going to have to look at all the factors of 9, that's 1 and 9, 3 and 3, and then they have to look at all the factors of 21, which is 1 and 21 and 3 and 7, right? And, and then they have to work with those four combinations, okay? Sometimes you're going to have to have a tough life like that because uh, if you can't factor something out from every single term. But here the key thing is to look before you cross the track, so to speak, right? So you first you look to see if there's something that you can factor out from every single term. If you can, make your life easy and factor it out. And then uh, whatever remains, then you can factor it out uh, uh, individually like this. Okay, let's do one more example, inshallah. Okay, now look at this one. 
Now this one has also got some big numbers, right? Um, okay, no, we can do it. Okay, let's see. So I put these bracket thingies over here. And then you say, first thing I do is I try to see if I can factor something out from, from all three terms. Is there something that I can factor out from every single term? Uh, no. Unfortunately, uh, two factors, there's four factors, but two doesn't go here, and two doesn't go there. So unfortunately, it looks like there's nothing that we can factor out from all of these terms, okay? Now, then it becomes trickier, because what you have to do is you have to look at all the prime factors of this, and when you get to this, this part, and you have to look at all the prime factors of that part. Now, it's, it becomes more complicated, but it's like a, a, a cuter puzzle, you know? It's like a more, more puzzling puzzle. It's just all it is. It's just like trying different things out. And if you try different things out in, in some orderly, systematic fashion, it really can't go wrong. There's only different there's, there are only so many different uh, uh, permutations of, of combinations of these different numbers, right? So it's one and four, okay, and then two and two. So those are the two possible combos that can go over there, okay? We're not even go over here yet because let's take care of one thing at a time. So okay, so it's one and four. So I'm going to try one n, okay, and four n over here, okay. Now, um, okay, fine. Okay, let's see. Then I see, let's say if I do all of this and 1 and 4 happens to be the wrong answer, yes, then I have to go back and start all over again after I try them flipping over, like 4 and, and 1 and like this, okay? So yes, it is, it's a little bit uh, tedious sometimes, uh, but not too bad, okay? So 1 and 4 and, okay, cool, let's try it. And then you have to look at all the factors of 25. Okay, that's 1 and 25. And this uh, 5 and 20 of uh, 5 and 5. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I don't want to work with very big numbers. So uh, in general, what I, if, the, if you have a bunch of factors, right, uh, possibilities, I tend to start with something in the middle and then either go this way or this way, okay? And that tends to work. After a while, you get, you get a little bit better at this, and then uh, you get better at this, and, and it, it becomes you, you get an idea of what works and what's not going to work. In this case, uh, I know this is not going to work, so I'm going to try that one first. Okay. So okay, let's say you chose this and you put one and twenty-five there, or let's even one and twenty-five is not going to work. So let's try that. Okay. And then you do the always, all right? That's 4n and that's 25n. Do they add or subtract to give 15? No. Okay, well, before you give up, uh, let's try 25 and 1. Let's put 25 over here and 1 over here. And that's even worse, right? That's like 100n and 1n. How is that going to add and subtract to give 15? Now let's use some kind of funny math. Okay, so that doesn't work. So, okay, I tried this. It didn't work. Okay, so then... It must be that this is 5 and this is 5, right? Thankfully, it's uh, easier. And then, now you look at the signs. Look at the signs. That's negative. That means they're going to be different. And then, uh, this says it's going to, the bigger product is negative. Well, I didn't do the product yet, which is not good for me. Okay, so this is 5 times 4 is 20, and I should have done this before. And this is 5n. Okay, now, the signs are different, okay? The bigger product is negative. Well, which one is the bigger product? This one is over here, and this is positive. Is negative 25 and 5, do they add or subtract to give you this? You bet they do over here, and that works, okay? So, this is negative, and this is positive. There you have it. Okay? No. Yes, there it is. Okay? So, and it is as easy as it. Now, if, if somebody had started out with putting it with this pair over here, uh, nothing would work, and they would be. Uh, then they would have to go back and try the one four until that works. Okay, so um, and um, uh, so that's the uh, that's this one. Okay, now what do we got here? Okay, now you look at this one. Uh, it looks kind of not friendly, right? But mm, the first step is okay. Ask yourself: well, Can I factor something? I make my life easy over here. Is there anything that goes into all of them? Okay, a two, you can factor a two. Um, you can also factor a four. Okay, if I factor a two, that's cool. Uh, it will make my life easier. It will make the numbers smaller. 
but it won't make my life as easier as it would if I factorize 4. So, okay, so therefore I'm going to factorize 4. Correct? So I'm going to factorize 4, okay, like this. And then I'm going to have inside of here, 4 goes in there, 4x squared. And 4 goes into 60 15 times. And 4 goes into 125 times, right? 25, okay? So there we have it. That's definitely more civilized. So I'm going to do this over here, put the 4. I'm going to factor this out. Then, okay, fine. You have this 4 over here, and we've got the same thing. A 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. I'm going to try a 1x and a 4x like this. Cool. And, and I'm going to have to fact make all the factors of 25. It's 1 and 25 and 5 and 5 and that's it. Okay. okay I'm going to try 5 and 5 okay, because I think that's going to work. 5 and 5 because, you know, 1 and 25 usually get big numbers. Okay, 5 and 5. Let's see what happens. 5 times 4 is 20 x, don't forget the 5, and this is 5. Do they add or subtract to get 15? Whew, they do. Okay, so this one says the signs are different, and the bigger product is positive. Which one is the bigger product? This one. So I'm going to say positive and negative, and I'm done. So this was another example where a little foresight, a little uh, uh, um, a factoring of this for made your life a little easier. I'd like to do one last example before we finish, inshallah. Okay, now here it is. This one is, oh, this one is pretty easy looking. Okay, let's just, this should be easy. Let's try this. Okay, this A is even one over here. Okay, not bad. So, okay, so this is just going to be X and X. Well, only one and one, right? It's really the only factors of, of one. Okay, so that sounds easy, one and one. Okay, the, this product is one X and the O's, yeah. Outer, F O, inner, that's 1x and 1x. Do 1x and 1x add to give 1x? Never, right? Add, they don't add or subtract. If they add, they give 2x, and they subtract, they give 0x. So it doesn't work. But then we ran out of possibilities here, right? So what this means is that, really, you can't factor this, right? So you really can't factor this one out. So, cannot be factored. All right. That's it. What you have to understand, not all of these quadratics uh, can be factored. What if I give you this? x squared minus square root of 5x plus pi. Well, good luck with that one, right? But it's a quadratic, yes? It's a secondary polynomial uh, expression. Yes, so you can make up anything, but it doesn't mean it's going to be built to be factored. So not all quadratic expressions can be factored, and that's the point of this exercise. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.